Hey folks, this is Kalani. Been a little bit of a lull of content, but I've got something else for you guys. A little treat. Now, anyone who obviously keeps in touch with little old Kalani knows that I recently made Twilight. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the legendary process, it requires a lot of materials and a lot of gold, and actually left me quite skint. Um, more skint than a, a backyard alley kitten without a tasty fishbone. So I kind of have very little gold, but I have a plan to make a bunch more. Now, as you may be used to, if you've been following me for a while, I do speculation videos on what might make a pretty penny in the future. So that's going to be one of these. Now, this is going to focus on two things, mainly armor ascended crafting and precursor crafting. A little touch on that. Now, First note, we have no idea when either of these will hit. Armor crafting should come in before the end of the year, but precursor crafting may not. While it was slated for before the end of 2013, there's actually been a dev post saying that we may be a little late on that. So, we might not see precursor crafting. So, bear that in mind. And we also do not know when ascended armor crafting will come in. So, bear that in mind as well. This may be a two month plus investment. So, to start, I want you to remember what happened when Ascended Crafting came out. Now, this was the Ascended Crafting for Artificing, Weaponsmithing, and Huntsman. If you don't remember, I'll remind you. The two raw materials which are used prevalently in these recipes which you'll need to make is Orichalcomor and Ancient Wood Log. Now, Orichalcum, I believe, went to around 17, 18, 19, possibly up into the 20s silver each. And Ancient Wood Log at one point did go above 30 silver each, which is kind of ludicrous. Really, when you think about it, how much these are worth right now. So, approximately 5 silver for Orichalcum, 6 silver for Ancient Wood Log. They were a little bit lower. I think Orichalcum was down at 3 or 4 before the crafting hit. And Ancient Wood Log was... Actually, I think Ancient Wood Log was considerably cheaper. It was, anyway, around three or four silver. I'll have to actually look at that to sate my curiosity. But they skyrocketed in price. Now, the reason for this is that people weren't farming them. People didn't care about them, quite frankly. Anybody who kind of prepared, I mean, I prepared quite a lot of materials for the Ascended Crafting, which is actually ludicrous when I went to go back and level my artificing. It's kind of silly how much it requires. Which means you may just want to stock up before armor crafting comes if you want to A, make money, or B, do armor crafting. So the one thing that won't change is Orichalcum. Orichalcum will retain its value somewhat to the point where I'd actually recommend you stockpile it to a safe level. I'd probably get 500 ingots before anything goes crazy, that gives you enough to do your crafting yourself, and you'll have a very nice amount to make a pretty penny off. So, Orichalcum may very well indeed make you a pretty penny come armor, armor ascend, ascended armor crafting. Now, the other one is Gossamer and hardened leather sections. So, let's talk about what we might get. We'll get armor crafting, we'll get tailoring, and we'll get leather working for definite. I seriously doubt we'll get jewel crafting, which is a really odd one because we already have ascended jewels and accessories, so why would we need ascended jewel crafting? Unless they just want to throw everything up to 500 and give you another reason or another option for those. I don't know, maybe, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm going to roll with the three that we'll definitely get because this is going to give you the core items for obviously heavy, medium, and light. Interestingly, cloth is used throughout. Heavy is orichalcum and cloth, leatherworking is leather and cloth, and tailoring is cloth and leather. Now those are kind of respective of how much you'll need of the items. So you actually need more leather and less cloth for leatherworking compared, compared rather to tailoring. Now the other thing you should be looking at is which ones have already skyrocketed. Iron ore is actually worth a lot of money right now. It's over a silver each, and that's after this craze died down. Platinum was worth quite a bit. It's nearly two silver. 
Now, the interesting thing comes in with things like softwood log, which are worth two silver, and you actually require four of those for refinement. And then you've got the seasoned and hard, which are also above a silver. If you consider what these were selling for before this hit, and what they were selling for in the peak of it, it's kind of ridiculous. So, what I'd recommend you do is stock up on wool scraps, cotton scraps, and linen scraps, because they're going to be used to create the ascended crafting materials. And then silk scraps, I do believe these are going to increase, even though the supply is quite heavy for silk. I do think they'll go above a few copper, which they're going for now. The difference, the kind of thick leather sections didn't rise too much simply because there wasn't enough demand. They were only used in the strings for the bows. That's very, very, very limited compared to how many weapons you can craft. Going into armor crafting, leather is used in two professions for every single piece. That means that that's going to be a bit more in demand, meaning that thick leather sections may be a place to put your money. Maybe. That that that's the only maybe here. That one's still still questioning because I was surprised that didn't rise with the, the weapons missing, but as I say, it was quite low scope. Silk scraps are in the same bag. They'd probably get up to maybe twenty, thirty, forty copper each. I don't think they'd go much higher simply because of the supply. But the really weird thing about supply of cloth is that it's really limited because the only way you get cloth is from salvaging light and yeah salvaging light I don't even think you get cloth from salvaging he uh, medium armor rather so you have to salvage light armor to get cloth which is interesting considering these three blur so strangely tier 2, 3 and 4 crafting materials can literally all drop in the same kind of level range and it gets really blurred among the lines as I say so these three are going to be worth a lot of money after armor crafting comes in I definitely think they're going to be worth a nice pretty penny cotton scraps specifically because they're already above 2 silver each now, call that speculation, call that people getting ready. Cotton scrap has always been rather expensive, which... I mean, if you're going to need quite a lot of these for the refinement process, you're probably going to want to stock up now, because they may just skyrocket when this hits. So, those three, as well as the three leathers, and there's no harm in picking up the metals as well, because the metal is going to be included, obviously, into the armor crafting. Now, that's kind of meh, iffy, whatever. I'd recommend definitely stocking up on Gossamer, because Gossamer is going to be used a lot, as well as the hardened leather sections. Tier 6 of cloth and leather is very valuable, mainly because, as I say, the only way to get it is to salvage. And the only way to get these is a rare chance of salvaging 80 plus light and medium gear, meaning that supply is actually really low. But that's it for kind of the armor crafting section. Those items probably net you a pretty penny. The one most people will not look at is this. The Zunli Electrum Ingot. Now, I don't see where the hell this is going to be used. Because if they don't bring out dual crafting to 500... Hmm, yeah. I guess we should start with the beginning. So if you wiki Zunli Electrum Ingot, and I also saw the description on the dev stream when they were talking about ascended weapon crafting, this is refined from gold and silver. I think platinum may be in there somewhere, but gold and silver is the key part, because gold and silver is used in dual crafting and artificing specifically, but we haven't seen any of these Zunli Electrum Ingots in artificing. So do they come in dual crafting? What for? I have no idea, but what I do know is that gold and silver are rare materials anyway. They're just not used. Now, that's why they're so cheap compar like, compared to other metals. Low supply, but low demand, which means that A, not a lot's coming in, but it's not going anywhere either, which you know, it's it's the only gold and silver that's used is to level artificing and jewel crafting, and even then, that's a little amount because it only lasts for like the 75 points where it's actually giving you experience. So I believe gold and silver may become a nice little gold nugget simply because we don't know what this is, and if we don't know what this is, 
people may not realize that gold and silver may just skyrocket. This is where precursor crafting comes in, because if it's not used in armor crafting, and it's not used in the one weaponsmithing which uses silver and gold, it may just be a component for precursor crafting, which is going to be a huge, huge market. Obviously, I could be completely wrong here, but either which way, if this ascended material comes out and no one knows what it's for, that's a little awkward and weird. It's got to be used for something, and I'll be honest, all of these ascended materials are very expensive, so I don't know. That may be worth quite a bit of money in the future, meaning that I'd recommend also grabbing a few stacks of gold and silver. Now. I'm going to top this off with a nice little look at my guild bank, so I need to ditch that guild. And as I say, I haven't got a lot of gold to my name, but the gold which I do have is in these materials. So every time I get 10 gold, I'm throwing it on a random material, which I think may do the best. Right now I've got a few stacks of gold, a few stacks of silver, a few stacks of tier 6 leather and tier 6 cloth, and then a few stacks of the ones in between. I really want to get my hands on some more cotton, because I think that is going to be the gem of this kind of little speculation piece. So, this is what I'm doing. Obviously, as usual, I'm sharing it with you guys. So feel free to leave me your comments. What do you think? Do you reckon some of these are going to be worth a considerable amount of money? What about the Zunlai Electrum ingots? I want to hear your thoughts on those as well. We do know that it's definitely refined from gold and silver. That's kind of the only thing we know about it. So I kind of wonder where that will go. But either way, just in case you folk were wanting to spend your gold on something maybe a little extravagant, a little investment piece, who knows? may make you a few hundred gold. Thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I'll see you next time.